Are you trying to open WhatsApp, but the app freezes and quits unexpectedly? In this video, I will show 8 different solutions for WhatsApp quit and crash force exit problems on Mac. This solution applies to all support in macOS. Let's get started. The first working solution is to force quit the WhatsApp app. Doing this will fix not responding to the app problems. To manually quit a Mac app, go to the Apple logo and select the force quit option. Then, select the WhatsApp app and select force quit option. Now, confirm the force quit action. Alternatively, you can press the command and Q keys on your Mac keyboard and force quit the app. If the app doesn't quit, force it to quit by pressing the option, command, and escape keys together. The force quit window opens here. Now, select the WhatsApp app and click on force quit. Again, select the force quit option to confirm. That's it. If you still can't force the app to quit, try the second beneficial solution. Restart your Mac device. Go to the Apple menu in the top left corner and click Restart. Now, select the Restart option to confirm. That's it. If your Mac won't restart, don't worry. Press and hold the power button on the Mac keyboard until your Mac turns off. Then, press and hold the power button to turn your Mac on. If the problem persists, Follow the third accessible solution. Remove the PLIS files associated with WhatsApp. Doing this will resolve issues caused by application running sluggishly. Launch the Finder application by clicking on its icon in the dock. Click on Go menu and press the Option key to view the Library option in drop-down menu. Click on it. Navigate to the WhatsApp folder. Then, type the text in the search box as displayed on video screen. If the PLIS files are present, Select them, right-click on the magic mouse or trackpad, and click the Move to Trash option. Moving to the fourth usable solution, update the WhatsApp app and macOS. Doing this may help fix the unexpected app quitting problems. To update macOS, go to the Apple menu and select System Settings. Then, select General from the left sidebar. Now, click on Software Update and wait until your Mac checks for Software Update. If the update is available, click the Update Now button. Then enter the passcode to confirm the update process. Your Mac device will start updating the software version on your Mac. Wait until the update downloads and the installation process is complete. If your Mac is up to date on the software update page, skip this step and proceed to the next step. Now, let's update WhatsApp app. If you have installed the WhatsApp app from the Mac App Store, Open the Spotlight search and type App Store. Then, select App Store and press the Return key. Now, select the Update section from the left sidebar. Click on Update beside the WhatsApp app if the update is available. It will take some time to complete the update process. If you have installed the WhatsApp app from the website, launch it on your Mac computer. After that, click on WhatsApp from the top menu bar. Now, select Check for Updates. Download if the update is available. If it is up to date, move to the fifth functional solution. And install and reinstall the WhatsApp app. For this process, we will use Launchpad. It offers the easiest way to delete apps downloaded from the App Store. Press the command space key to open the Spotlight search and type Launchpad. Now, if you don't see an app on Launchpad, if there are multiple pages of apps, Click on the dots at the bottom of Launchpad to switch between these pages. Alternatively, if you have a trackpad, swipe right or left with two fingers. Now, type and search WhatsApp at the top of Launchpad. Now, press and hold the Option key. Click the Delete icon next to the app you want to delete. Then select Delete to confirm. The app will delete it immediately. You can use the Finder app if you cannot delete an app from the Launchpad. Launch the Finder app application by clicking on its icon in the dock on your Mac computer. Then, head to the application section. You can use any of two methods to delete the WhatsApp app from the Finder app. Please note that you can't delete or move an app to trash, which is required by your Mac or installed by macOS. The first easy way is to drag the app from the Finder and drop it into the trash. Make sure the WhatsApp app is not open. If it's on, then click on WhatsApp from the menu bar and click on Quit WhatsApp. Then, try again. In another way, select the app and right-click on the magic mouse or press Ctrl plus click. Then, 
Select Move to Trash from the menu bar. That's it. If your device shows Enter Admin Username Password, you should remember it. Once you delete the app, you should empty the trash. Next, proceed to reinstall the application to verify if it's functioning properly. Sixth relevant solution is to ensure that your Mac has sufficient free RAM before reinstalling. This helps to optimize the app's performance and prevent any potential issues related to system resources. First, press Command and Space key and type Activity Monitor. Press the Return key. Now, click the Memory tab. Analyze the physical and the memory used on your Mac. If your Mac is running low on free RAM, Consider closing any applications that are running in the background but not currently in use. Additionally, it would be beneficial to close unnecessary browser tabs, particularly if you have many open in browsers like Google Chrome or Safari. The seventh appropriate solution is to disconnect peripheral devices. You should delete peripheral devices such as printers, scanners, and more. If you are unable to use the WhatsApp app, Open the WhatsApp web from Safari or Chrome browser and log in. The website link is given in the video description. This will help you temporarily use WhatsApp on your Mac computer. If none of the above solutions work, follow the 8th applicable solution. Contact Apple Support. If the WhatsApp app crashes or quits suddenly on a Mac, contact Apple Support. You can call or chat with experts to get personalized solutions. So. Visit the Apple support website displayed on the video screen or copy the website link from the video description. Now, sign in with your Apple ID and password. Then, select the device and choose or write the problem. After that, contact the Apple support team and get assistance. That's it. I hope you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel for the latest tips and tricks videos.